so the process of becoming a writer goes from being a kid who keeps journals and diaries and being a teenager who was a reader and kept journals and diaries to ultimately thinking, well, what am I going to do with my life? And, and so if you're going to go to college, you want to perhaps try and pursue something that you think you have a passion for. So literature was very big for me. So when I went to college, I went for creative writing to get a, a Bachelor of Fine Arts in creative writing. There were not too many colleges that offered such a degree in 1972. Um, in fact, there were only two. Emerson College in Boston was one of them, so I went there. So while I was there, my second year in college, um, I met Nicole Rubel. And Nicole Rubel is an illustrator who was at the Museum School of Fine Arts. Um, I was at Emerson writing. We both had an interest in children's literature. So we met at a party. We started talking about it. I said, let's collaborate. So then I started writing stories. She started illustrating them. Then the next step is, what do you do with that material? In Boston, there were three major publishers, Little Brown, Houghton Mifflin, Atlantic Monthly. In those days, you just called them up on the telephone and said, pardon me, um, we have a dummy uh, children's book, the writing and the illustrations, would you like to see it? You would make an appointment, you would go in, and they would uh, generally reject it. So we did 12 books, 12 picture books, full, full writing, full illustrations, and each one was turned down three times. So that's 36 rejections to your face. But I have to tell you, a good rejection is like a tutorial because then they could say, look, you have too many characters or this is ill-defined or that the beginning really sets up a problem that is not satisfied in the ending. All of these kinds of basic responses that you would have. And you would walk out smarter than you walked in if you could take the punishment. And so nonetheless, uh, then Rotten Ralph, the first Rotten Ralph was the 13th book that we wrote, took it to the one publisher at, at Atlantic Monthly, and the editor said, never come back to my office. This is the worst book for children I've ever seen. And I thought, wow, I'm getting better. And then I took it to another publisher. They didn't like it. And then Walter Lorraine and Houghton Mifflin liked it. And then that was it. So by my sophomore year in college, then we had placed that first book. And by the time I got out of college, then I had two more books. And then I just uh, stayed in the rooming house and wrote every day. <laughs>